Hey everyone, I have a quick word to release today that's actually based on a dream I received from the Lord last night. And the name of today's word is, you're making it your home. You are making it your home. And today's scripture reference is Deuteronomy 28.6 and it reads, Blessed shall you be when you come in and blessed shall you be when you go out. So basically, that was a very um, short dream where I was um, in a new home and I was like putting out um, like li just things to make it feel like home, like little flameless candles, which I really like those because, you know, they're safe and they make the atmosphere nice. And, um, you know, I know that some people might make fun of me for that, but I really do like flameless candles. And um, so I was in the dream, I was putting out these flameless candles. And what the Holy Spirit is speaking to me today is that this message is for a very specific group of people. Um, you maybe have moved into a new home and um, for some of you, this might be temporary housing is what I'm hearing. But you are just putting your little touches on the place to make it feel like home. And, you know, really the most important thing is that the Holy Spirit feels welcome there, you know, and for some of you, you've been reluctant to do something in this space because you know it's temporary and you know you're going to be um, probably moving to another location, um, you know, in the coming weeks or months. But with the Holy Spirit saying it's, it's okay to put your little touches on the place and, you know, even though you may not be there long term, that, you know, there are, it's not... Um, it's not bad to just do little things here and there to make it feel like your home. You know, home is where the heart is. That's what I'm hearing. And home is where the Holy Spirit resides. And as long as you've got the Holy Spirit um, habitating your space and feeling at home and, and creating an atmosphere that is pleasing to the Holy Spirit, you know, um, that's what makes a home. But it's okay if you want to put little touches on the place. You know, I know some of you are nervous because you know you're going to be moving. So you don't want to, you know, purchase a bunch of items right now um, that you're just going to have to move. And that's, that's totally understandable. But you can put your little touches on, you know, here and there. And again, just remember, as I said, that home is where the heart is. It's where the Holy Spirit resides. And that's really more of a not even necessarily a physical dwelling, but it's a spiritual state of mind. And you know, that you will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. No matter where you live, you carry the Holy Spirit with you and you can make any space a home. So I know this is a very specific message for somebody out there today, and um, I'm not sure who it's for, but take it to the Holy Spirit for confirmation. And just know that I pray for all of you every day who watch these messages. I wanna welcome all my new subscribers. If you feel the Holy Spirit leading you to sow into this message, I encourage you to do so. Just know that I pray over every seed I receive that the Lord will lead you into his perfect will for your life. And and that you will have just clarity and um, know the Holy Spirit's voice. Because, you know, I hear that from a lot of my um, subscribers that, you know, sometimes they're confused about what is the Holy Spirit and is it is it God or is it another voice? And just know that the Holy Spirit will confirm things to you um, over the course of time, you know? and you know, the Holy Spirit will make sure that um, you know it's his voice. So that's a specific word for somebody as well. So anyway, just know that I love you all so much with the love of Christ and the Lord is very proud of you. Um, stay in your word. The Lord will confirm things to you as you read your Bible as well. So stay in prayer, get in the secret place. And if you feel like you can't hear or you can't decipher God's voice, then that's, um, this is for everybody. Then that means that you need to spend more time with him and you need to get into closer relationship with him and just, you know, 
seek him, seek his face, seek him more, you know, get on your knees in prayer first thing in the morning, get into the word of God. If you have a busy schedule, put it on your calendar that this is the Lord's time and nothing is going to take that away. And it could be, you know, early in the morning or sometimes in the evening. I know I really like reading my Bible before I go to bed um, because I also believe it just cleanse my, cleanses my mind and my spirit before I go to bed. It just sets the right environment for sleep. And I also like, you know, getting up early in the morning and spending that time in prayer, you know, just dedicating my day to the Holy Spirit. So, I'm not sure who this message is for today, but I'm feeling in my spirit that I should do a whole nother word just on how to know God's voice and, um, you know, specific things you can do to, um, close to develop a closer relationship with God. And it's really simple. It's really just about spending time with him and submitting to him and raising your hand and saying, use me, Lord, and give me wisdom, you know, and I want, he wants to give you wisdom. He wants you to hear his voice, but sometimes it's, there's just certain things that need to be done to, um, you know, some of you might need deliverance. Some of you might need to break some generational curses off of your bloodlines. And, you know, these are all things that the Lord will help you do if you just go to him and ask for his help. He wants to help you. He wants to be in close relationship with you. And he loves you very much. You know, he's rooting for you. He's on your side. He's a good father. And he wants his children to be in close relationship with him and to know his voice. It says in the word of God that my sheep know my voice. So, you know, just seek his face and ask for wisdom. So just know that I love you all so much with the love of Christ and stay blessed.